how bright I see you and we have giant snakes. We do. Say hi to the camera. This is Fat Boy Rick. How you doing, Rick? Do you make lures as well? Yes. I'm gonna make sure it's right on a good spot for it to be knotted. Wait, where are we going now? Teaching you how to catch an alligator. Wait, say that one more time. Teaching you how to catch an alligator. I don't think I heard you correctly. What? Teaching you how to catch an alligator. Got him. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brian, the CEO. I'm the host of CEO Fishing, and if you like the outdoors, fishing, camping, travel, and things of that nature, then make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. Like, don't even wait. Just go click it, because it's like literally like right here, there's a little button. I think it says subscribe. You can click that, and you can subscribe to the channel right now, and then turn on your notifications and you can become a part of the CEO family. But today we got a really good episode. It is loaded with reptiles and reptiles and more reptiles. And I even get to play with an alligator and a giant Burmese python. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed the episode. All right, I'm pulling up to the destination in just a minute here. How you doing, buddy? Who's that? You gonna speak? You look shocked. You got a handshake? What's your name? Where are you? Corbin. What's my name? Ryan, the CEO. That's right. You're going to help me film a show today? Yeah? You're going to be my what, tour guide? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. That's Catch Everything Outdoors. And uh, I have a co-host today. And would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. My name is Corbin. And today we are in my backyard. Um, and we're going to see all the animals. What kind of animals are we gonna see? Alligator, snakes, turtles, fish. Am I gonna get bit? No. Darn. Dogs. All right. Do you want to be bit? Maybe a little bit. When you saw me pull up, you kind of just froze. What were you thinking? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Just like this right now? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so you do recognize us, right? Yes. Or me, because um, I'm obviously you watch Monster Mike. Yes. Everybody watches Monster Mike. You gotta love Monster Mike. I appreciate you having me here. And you had mentioned you have a fish pond. Yeah. You gonna show me? Yeah. Let's go. We're gonna go see a fish pond, guys. He's in my backyard. I, this is, this yeah. is out. No, he's here for the company. What is the company? Native Village Rescue. Do you have a website? I think so, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we'll get all that information for you here in a minute. So in my fish pond, we have two big peacock bass. All right. A large mouth Let's bass. See. Let me put these nines over it. There they are. All right, so you got a baby alligator here. What's his name? Fat Boy Rick. Fat Boy Rick. Nice. Are we going to meet Fat Boy Rick later? Yes. All right. And now we're going to the medium sized alligator pit. We have our alligators and our turtles. So this is, that's Wolverine, one of our turtles. Okay. He, or I named that this because he has really the longest nails I see in those. the bunch. Did you know a male turtle has the longer nails than a female? I did not know that. Did you guys know that? Comment below if you already knew that because I had no idea. That's a female. Female. All right. All right, see the nails. And then the male will have longer nails. It'll twinkle his nails like this at the female. So it, basically, it's a hey girl. girl. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Right on the top. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> oh, there's the snapping turtle. We're just going to let you see the snapping turtle because I really don't want to get my hand bit today. Yeah, um, let's not do that for this show. So we have a common snapping turtle. All right. this they have long necks, right? Yes, this is our longer, this is our calmer snapping turtle. The other one is vicious, very vicious. So I put him in this pond so I can show you an alley. My little friend. Who 
this is one of our alligators. You know the difference of telling a crocodile from an alligator besides from the nose? Tell me. Well, there's a few ways. All right. One, alligator starts with an A and crocodile starts with a C. Okay. Two, um, alligators have 80 teeth, crocodiles have 62 teeth. I don't want to get bit by either one of them. Okay. You can tell by when an alligator's mouth closes. They're strong for their size, huh? Yes. By when an alligator mouth closes, you can only see the top teeth. Okay. Pointing out when a crocodile, you see all of his teeth, the bottom teeth, and the top. So a crocodile smile? Yeah. And then another difference is crocodiles are a lot lighter than alligators. Like they look Color like a wise. tan. Yeah. Okay. What are all these hard bumps on the back of the alligators? They're called scoots. They're called scoots? They use the scoots for like a solar panel where when the or when you when the sun's going down and they go up in the sun and that will attract the heat. It will absorb the heat for energy. So we have a Russian tortoise right here. You mm. wanna hold him? What's his name? Vladimir? Sure. Funny. One more. This is a red foot tortoise. Red foot tortoise. This is the normal size for him. We have one over there that's a um, bigger. They're from uh, Madagascar. Madagascar? Well, what's funny is that's in my head because I just filmed with lemurs and they're all from Madagascar. So in my head, it was going to be a joke, Madagascar, but it's true. So here we have an alligator snapping turtle. An alligator snapping turtle. That sounds extra mean. That looks extra big too. They really just sit on the bottom with their mouths open. They have like a tongue, mm -hmm. like a little tongue and it looks like a worm. Okay. So the um, fish go after it. As soon as they bite that worm, slam shut. You gonna touch his tongue? I'm good. Back in the day, they were the size of this pit, right dad? If not bigger. Longer. Really? Yeah, hundreds of years ago, hundreds of thousands of years ago, these guys uh, prehistoric. would be 10 foot across. They were massive. Wow. These are definitely prehistoric creatures, guys. They can get up to 200 pounds and even more in some cases. And they have a bite force, meaning how hard they bite down, of 1,000 pounds of pressure. So basically, they can bite straight through your bones. Back to the show. This is the what? Pit of death. The pit of death. All right, guys, if you're afraid of snakes and stuff, you might want to click off now, but you shouldn't. Honey, we got a moth here. Ah! Yeah. So we have the red tails here, two red tails. One's named Stash and the other one's named Beast. I mean, why do they call you Krusty? Okay, so. She's actually kind of cute. Fat boy Rick is now on his rock. Fat boy Rick. Hey, buddy. This is Fat Boy Rick. How you doing, Rick? Well, when he sees something moving on the water, he'll attack it. Yeah. He attacked the big um, Burmese python. Really? It was on the water, yeah. Very vicious. He'll suck it. You're a savage. You are a but savage. But th that's, that's why he's so fat. So we got birds, too? Yes. All right. Parrots. Parrots? Hey, Lucy yes. Lou. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lucy. Hi. Hi. Beautiful this, birdie. This is Beautiful Loco. Beautiful birdie. Loco? Are you Loco in the cabeza? You're sneaking up on me like you're Loco. This is Vulture. We call her Vulture because she'll spread her wings out and go. Yeah, yeah tell so me about this him. This is our Burmese python. His name is Scully. We rescued him about 12 years ago and me and him grown up together. We had to have special licensing, license, licensing, licensing. Licenses. Me and him grown up together. If we spend enough time with him, he stays calm like this. Where if this was a wild one, I would have marks all over me. And they got some sharp teeth too. Yes, 118 of them. These um, snakes here take over the Everglades. That's why we have to have permits and it took us a while to get them. 
because they are um, in, they're invasive. invasive. So the, these are the ones that when you guys see in the, the memes, not the memes, but all over the internet where they're eating alligators and stuff. These are the pythons that are doing it. There we go. Oh yeah. That is a heavy one. Say hi to the camera. Scully. Right there, kind of, yeah. There's a skull right there in the pattern. It's a big, healthy snake. Yeah, so they take these animals, the reptiles, to the schools, and uh, they can teach kids and adults how to uh, handle them, what not to do, what to do if you see them, and just get to interact with them. He is a strong. And when this guy stays at our house, he has to stay under, well, you saw, lock and key. Yeah. In two locked rooms and then in another lock. Right, and that's per the licensing, everything. Because the fear is that these guys get out and they eat local pets. And they just, they breed fast too, right? They do. They can have anywhere between 100 to 300 eggs at one time. 100 to 300 eggs at once. That is crazy. Hanging out with Brian to see you and we have giant snakes. We do. Look at this. We're the coolest people on the planet right now. You know that? Yeah. Man, that was fun. I like interacting with snakes and other reptiles and stuff like that. I grew up with uh, animals and I enjoy being able to have experiences like this with other people and being able to share it with you guys. So hopefully I can do this more. So if you've got animals or know people who have some really cool animals, legal, let me know and maybe I can link up and play with some cool critters. In addition to knowing a lot about animals, Corbin has other skills as well. He's going to do something for me and then we're gonna go test it out and after that, I'm gonna be playing with some alligators. So stay tuned, do not click off, and enjoy the rest of the show. So not only do you know everything about animals, but you make lures as well? Yes. Here are the lures that are already made. Very nice. Nice jigs. What type of feathers? Um, don't know. What? Have you used any of them yet? No. No? Can I make you one personally? I would love that. I don't want to sell one to you. I want to give them to you. Okay, usually you sell these, but today I get one for free. I appreciate that. You know I'm going to have to use it to catch a fish too. So we're going to use that to hold the hook. Okay. Cut the line and cut the feathers that are extra. All right. This is once we're done, Using the line to wrap it up. We use nail polish to seal it. All right. So this, this is a full DIY lure lesson right here. Yeah, this is what we use to wrap it. Braided okay. line. I use six pound six. test braided line. All right. Um, pick your fishing head. All right, let's go for this one. If I can pick it up with my giant fingers. Yeah, we're gonna start with that one. Okay. Right there. This will hold the lure. All right. We're that gonna do it. a regular knot underneath the weight. Okay. Weighted part. We're gonna do a double knot. Pick your feathers. Pick my feathers. Let's go with couple of the orange, the these, and this one here to give it some flash in the water. Or, you know what, let's go with the old school gold Rapala color. Okay. That's about good? Yeah, that's good. Right now I'm just wrapping it, keeping it wrapped. I'm gonna make sure it's right on a good spot for it to be knotted. I'm gonna pull that and do that one more time. Is this gonna be on your channel, this video? Yeah, but some of them I put on Mike's channel too. Like my snakehead video, I just put on his channel. So I'll- You put this one on his channel? I might put it on his channel too, yeah. Okay, because I, I don't even know about your channel. Yeah? <gasps> he doesn't know about my channel. You can pick your nail polish. 
called a silver sparkling. It's clear, but with sparkles in it. All right. Of silver. So it'll still show the pink when it dries. It will just have sparkles all over it now. We'll test it out. Professional fisherman. Professional? I'm just a YouTuber. YouTube. You know what I am? I'm just somebody who loves fishing. I don't care if someone holds the fishing rod upside down. If they're having fun with doing it, I'm going to support them 100%. And then try and teach them how to do it the right way. Got the jig here that he just made me, and we're going to try and catch some fish. Try to catch that Myron right there. How aggressive is he? Ooh, it casts good. Little baby peacock wants it. That means there's bigger peacocks in here, huh? He was a little bit bigger. What the heck? Uh oh. Got him. This one, you're not coming off. Yeah, I got him on your jig. I don't quit till I get. Oh, look at all the friends coming to eat him. There it is. Right there, guys. Look at that. On his jig that he just made me today. Got a peacock bass. Beautiful male. Got a double up too. Look, she's on over there. So uh, let him go. See if I can get another one. And you're off. I was able to use the lure that he just made me to catch a fish, but now it's time for me to catch an alligator. Check it out. Wait, where are we going now? Teaching you how to catch an alligator. Wait, say that one more time. Teaching you how to catch an alligator. I don't think I heard you correctly. What? Teaching you how to catch an alligator. I said he's teaching me how to catch an alligator. Let's go. Right. All right, guys. Apparently, there is an alligator in this water by my feet somewhere. They want me to catch it. So I'm going to listen to the instructions that were given to me. I'm going to move my feet until I can find the alligator. And then you said lift them up. Yep. Grab the tail and then slide my hand under his armpits just like that. We have a gator. Now, it's got the tape on, so that's why I'm not too nervous. And, you know, we always got to take precautions because I'm not trained in actually doing this and we're not taking any risk today. Get in here with me. There we go. There it is. Got a gator. Yeah, guys. Don't try this at home. And I believe FWC down here doesn't allow you to even mess with the gators, right? Yeah, I learned that the hard way. No matter what your skill level is in dealing with these animals, you always have to take precautions because at the end of the day, they are animals and uh, you can never be 100% sure that they're not gonna do something. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to sound smart here. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> I've handled a couple gators in my life, but not too often. I had one in the middle of my neighborhood when I was about your age. And we're talking about we're a mile and a half away from any water, and it was just in the middle of the street. So we went out, saved it, put it in my toy box until we could have someone come get it because the kids were throwing rocks at it. So, you know, like I said, my uncle, I've been around reptiles and stuff since I was a baby. And uh, how long was it? How long um, was honestly, it was maybe a little bit smaller than this guy right here. So we didn't want the kids throwing the rocks at it. What was the biggest alligator you ever like handled, like touched and pet? Um, just a little bit bigger than this one. Yeah, what like I said, I haven't done it very often. What biggest you know? thing was a ten footer? I think chili. Yeah, you're braver than I am. With the eyes, they have three eyelids. Three eyelids. Yes. One that goes down. One that goes up. And that just closes their eye and then when I close their, this eye right here and then when I open it wait what is that see how that came over yeah, yeah. that's the third can... eyelid it's the water type yeah it's... put it right there, there it it's like goggles for them they have built-in goggles I think you just saw them blink right there grab the front of the jaws with that right hand throw that tape down Grab the jaws, take okay. your other hand off, left hand off, move out of the way, Corbin. And straight out, no, straight out. Straight out from the gator's jaw. There, there you go. go. All right. And Come on. Put your hands on the side. So I'm going to set him right over here, and you're good. 
I just played with an alligator, guys. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> My name's Ian Tyson. Uh, we are Native Village Rescue. Uh, we've been a nonprofit organization since 2019. Uh, Native Village actually started off in 19 late 1970s. It's on the Seminole Indian Reservation and was started by the chief of the Seminole tribe, James Billy. And it was a cultural center that they taught people about not only native history, but the culture of how all of the animals helped the, the Seminole people to survive. Over the years, it's been so much more. It's been educating kids, teaching um, different cultures to so many people around the world that used to come to that location. Um, I guess it was about 2010, 2011, things changed a little bit mm -hmm. and Native Village kind of became a more of a traveling show where we went around and started teaching. We didn't have a okay. location anymore. Everything came back to the house. We started doing things in the house and kept cost down at a minimal um, and started realizing that a lot of people had no place to surrender their animals to. Yeah. So uh, we started saying, hey, you know, we'll take the animals. And then what we try to do is find people who want the animals, are willing to take care of and them. And we'll take care of them properly. Right. Yeah. So we get them out to them. All you right. know? And my son, he's been a part of it. Uh, since he was born, me and my wife clicked off with the animal business. Um, she worked with horses all the time and, okay. and it was just amazing with it. And she was like, you know, we're a rescue. We should become a nonprofit organization. <laughs> and that's what we did. So we go around a lot of different places. A lot of different cities have us come out. We okay. do a big setup where we get a chance to teach about all the different animals that are both native and non-native to Florida. Okay. Um, and, and realizing what is involved with taking care of these animals because so many people get an animal and they're like oh my god it's so cute they just have to feed it and that's it right yeah they think it's a cute little cicada tortoise they get at the pet store and then <laughs> you know 10 15 years later this thing's weighing 30 pounds and tearing up everything in their yard yeah, so, yeah. um that's what we do so we go around we teach we educate okay. um and we try to explain to people hey man we've got to take care of this planet yeah. this planet if we got to take care of the animals that are here don't just release them Make sure you know what you're getting. And if you want to give something up, reach out to a rescue that will take it and find a better home for it. Don't just take it out and, and dump it, it on the side of the road. Yeah. That's Worst why the pythons do. are here. So, Worst thing you could do. Yeah. It's already is dry. it dry? It's dry. My fly is dry. Guys, check it. He made me my fly own dry. custom fly yeah. or jig. And you know what? I'm going to cast a peacock bass on this thing. You think I can? What's the name of your jigs? My, my, the name of my jigs is Jerk'em Jigs. Jerk'em Jigs. I like that. <laughs> if any of you guys are willing to donate, help us take care of these animals or make better habitats. We're working on different filter systems at the house. Everything's personal. Also, reach out to the schools. We're um, Broward County approved, licensed, insured for all the animals that we've showed you here today. And, um... We make things happen, do special events, birthday parties, educational programs, teaching the schools, teaching law enforcement how to catch different animals. Okay. And uh, we do all kinds of film work as well. Whatever right. we can do to get the word out. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Now, you have a website? Uh, the website yes, is Native Village Rescue. Native Village Rescue. There you go. It's in the is link that below. It? Just, that's it? Okay. Yeah. So I'll put their Instagram and the website down below. Um, and then from there, you can explore and find out how you can donate to help their cause. Service hours, anybody that needs service hours, the volunteers, we always need volunteers to help us to go out and teach. You want to work with animals and learn about this stuff, that, that's, that's an awesome thing. Sponsorship for different events in your city. You know, we, we definitely take it in. La Spadas is one of our big sponsors that helps us out all nice. the time. Nice. Yeah, they got great hoagies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Do you think we should give Mike a challenge? Yeah. You think he should come here and hold like a snake that's bigger than him or hold a, an alligator? I think it'd be funny to watch him catch an alligator. Yeah? All right, I also, Mike. I also want to do a challenge with Monster Mike that he can't catch a bigger bass than my lure. I didn't even think about that. He just came up with that on his own. Mike, you have truly been challenged. So uh, yeah, so let me, let's see if we can get Monster Mike out here and um, have some fun with some animals and then we'll, we'll, we'll set it up where we can actually go fishing. We'll do. Let him hold a couple critters and then we'll go straight fishing there. Fishing where I can see the challenge. So you can see the challenge. So Mike, he's going to catch a bigger fish than you. I always do. So, you know. I had so much fun hanging out with them today and I can't thank them enough for having me over and showing me the different animals that they are handling and taking care of. If you guys want to see more content like this, 
let me know in the comments. You know, just drop a comment. Let me know if you enjoy this type of video and what else you want to see me do. The boat is pretty much done, so we're about to get out on the salt water and start catching snook and snapper and all kinds of fish. But again, if you enjoyed the content on this channel, if you enjoyed this video, I have a lot more like this and I have a lot more coming. So hit subscribe right now. You can click that thingy right there and then turn on your notifications because it will help me out and I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.